What's up everyone? I've started playing with compliant filaments, specifically TPU, in my 3D printer. I figured I could print my own recoil buffers. I run buffers in my AKs and 1911s. I also figured I would print the soft bits of an AR buffer for shits and giggles. I picked up this Shore A durometer tester to see how hard these items are. I measured this AK buffer at around 65 Shore A, and these 1911 recoil buffers from Wilson Combat at around 95 to 100 Shore A. This number is probably a bit off because these are thin. I'm likely not getting into the bulk material properties. This AR buffer bumper is around 95 Shore A and the buffer weight spacers are around 65. Again, maybe this is a little bit off because these are thin. TPU filament is offered in a few different durometers. You can get really soft, maybe around 70 to 80 Shore A. It can also be as hard as like the mid Shore D scale. I picked up some Shore A95 TPU. Here is a Shore hardness scale for some reference of what squishiness these values might correspond to. I measured up and created 3D models of all these items. Here are my 3D printed versions. The AK buffer came out a bit rough. That was my first print with this material. Took a bit of cleanup with a razor. Since then, I've got my parameters dialed in much better now. These all printed pretty well. Let's check the durometer on this AK buffer. Since it's pretty thick, it should be a good representation of the bulk material properties as printed. Right around 90, sure A, cool. That's pretty close to the advertised value. This 1911 buffer is feeling a bit softer than the Wilson Combat one. We'll see how it holds up. These Wilson Combat shock buffs are around $1.30 each. Based on the $28 I paid for this one kilogram roll of TPU and this buffer having a mass of 0.6-ish grams, my cost for this buffer is about one and a half cents. These Power Customs AK buffers are $10.50 each. Mine costs about 23 cents. You know, you gotta buy a five to $600 3D printer first, but it's all in the black from there, boys. I'm gonna start running this AK buffer and these 1911 buffers and some of my firearms. I wouldn't be surprised if this 1911 buffer is too soft and comes apart pretty quickly. I might get some mid Shore D TPU and print them out of that. If I have any failures, I'll pin a comment on this video in the future. If I don't, well, no news is good news, and they're probably still working. Or maybe they failed and I just forgot to add a comment. As always, these designs are on my GrabCAD page for anyone to download. Link is in the description. The parts should be in the correct orientation when you drop the step files into your slicer. TPU filament needs some specific parameters and care. I'll link to a CNC kitchen video that was helpful to me in the description. If you print any of these for yourself, let me know how they work out for you. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.